What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to talk about the Leonardo Momento Magico. Uh, and you can tell I have ink on my finger because uh, I'm actually doing this one in reverse order. I've already done the writing sample for this pen. Um, so, spoiler, you know I have a blue ink in here. I mean, duh. <laughs> Uh, so I purchased this pen from PenVenture, um, and Emmy was kind enough to send me uh, this pen with some other goodies, which I've done some of the reviews already. Uh, I've done one on the Opus 88 uh, Fantasia, if you want to check that out. I've done one on this beautiful Montegrappa, holy smolies, so check that out. Uh, they're all relatively recent, um, so definitely hit up the channel if you want to see more. But for right now, I'm going to talk about this, which I purchased with my own money uh, because I saw this material and I just had to have it. I will do a slight caveat to this in the sense that my camera and the lighting, for whatever reason, I've tried messing around with it like crazy, but I cannot get it to show the color accurately. Uh, on camera, this looks more turquoise. Uh, in real life, it is definitely more green uh, and on the emeraldy side of things, like emeraldy teal side of things, uh, not quite as blue on camera but the chatoyance that it picks up oh baby is that ever stunning um so yes i purchased this with my own money uh in the rhodium trim you can get different trim options but rhodium is my prefer uh preferred trim um the clip is their typical clip with the little roller ball here, um, which basically just acts as a roll stop for me. I don't usually use clips as actual clips, uh, and their typical conical style at the top of the cap and the bottom of the pen uh, remains the same on this model. Um, stay tuned uh, next week because I will be doing a comparison uh, video with all the details between this pen and their um, Momento Zero models, including the Grande. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, we're just going to talk about this pen. So the clip is really nice. Uh, it's got some good give while still being uh, attention filled to hold on to things. Uh, I really like the center band. I like that quite a bit. Um, that is a divergence from their older uh, Momento Zero models. This pulls from a different model, like one of their more expensive ones, um, with some slight twists to it as well. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, and on the back of the cap, it's difficult to see, but it does say imprinted Leonardo. Uh, and then it says the number. 1290. So that just means I have the 1290th pen that they've made in this finish. Um, it's not a limited edition. They number every pen and eventually when they stop making it, then they stop making it, um, but they number all of their pens. The cap does have the older style step down rather than their newer sort of tapered um, cap finish. Uh, so I guess a bit of a Bit of a spoiler, uh, I'll pull out some of the grandes here. This is their older step down here, and this is their newer like taper, um, which I don't really mind. I kind of like that quite a bit. Uh, their body is relatively straight. It does taper down slightly uh, to the silver ring here that separates the piston knob because yes, this is a piston pen from the body itself. Um, so I think it is absolutely stunning. It is a fairly light pen. And by fairly light, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a light pen. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much all resin with uh, very little metal to make it heavy. It takes one, one in, a, in a teeny tiny turn to uncap it. Um, it does push to post, uh, although I don't. But that said, it doesn't back weight it too much. Um, I'm super sensitive to that because I never post my pens, uh, but you certainly can. Uh, it does have a steel nib. I have purchased the Elastic Extra Fine, um, but you can get the Elastic Extra Fine, Elastic Fine, Fine through Broad, um, all in steel. I believe you can get gold if you pay extra, but I don't see the point personally. Um, 
and then has a ABS plastic feed, uh, and it is the Yovo version. The grip section is definitely different than the Memento Zeros. Uh, it is relatively a straight chunky boy as far as grip sections go with a slight flare out to stop your fingers from slipping. Uh, and I appreciate that the threads are made out of the resin and not metal, uh, which makes them super, super smooth, super shallow, and you can barely feel it with your thumb. The difference with this Memento Magico versus the original Memento Magicos that came out a few years back is that the ink window, which is nice and big, is now hidden beneath the cap. Uh, the older ones used to look something similar to this, where you would see the ink while it was uh, capped. Now you don't, it's hidden. Um, I prefer that, uh, but you do still get a really nice beefy ink window, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I have Lamy turquoise in here in case you're wondering. Uh, and then yeah, like I said, the body is pretty uniform, uh, so you don't see a ton. You do see a little bit of the ink on the inside, but then you get into these like shiny chatoyant parts and you don't see it as much. Fits very, very comfortably in my hand. Uh, I've, I'm really impressed with all of Leonardo's pens. Uh, I really like them quite a bit. Uh, and this certainly fits in with that. Uh, so I like it a lot. Um, yeah, and I like it so much that I want to start writing with it right now. So I'm going to stop rambling, flip around the camera, and let's write. All right, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The ink is Lamy. Turk. Turquoise. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you spell turquoise, but it's Lamy turquoise. The pen, of course, is oh, just stunning. Every time I go to like look at it, I just can't help but like just love it. <laughs> uh, Leonardo Momento Magico uh, with the newer um, elastic, extra fine. So the elastic extra fine steel uh admittedly this is a wet oh geez this is a wet ink as well um but the pen itself is also very wet and it does so because then that way it keeps up marvelously with any flexing that you want to do. Now, this isn't like a vintage flex where you can go from, you know, like an extra fine to like a triple broad. You can probably go from an extra fine to I would say a broad. You can probably go the entire entire nib width. Um, you do have to put some pressure behind. Oops, I didn't actually touch the paper. You do have to put some pressure behind it. Uh, it's not like, you know, when I had the um, Oh goodness, I tried a vintage one. I'm trying to remember what it was. and I can't remember right now, but uh, where like you barely had to touch it. Um, my Pilot Custom 912 with the Falcon nib uh, and the Ebonite feed uh, requires less pressure than this does, but this does give you a little bit more control, uh, but it requires significantly less pressure than something like a um, Noodler's Ahab or, or things like that. Uh, it's sort of in between um, those two. So I really like it. Um, I don't flex a ton, um, but what I love about these is that it, it flows with your um, with your like writing style. Um, so depending on uh, like your mood or things like that, like it, it, it really is responsive. Um, and I'm finding it really funny that it just hard started there because it's actually never done that before. <laughs> uh, because I was about to say that like literally I've had no issues with it. No hard starts, no skipping, no nothing. Um, and yet it just did it. So maybe just because I'm like whipping the pen around. Uh, who knows? I appreciate the updated look uh, that this is now 
covered. Um, whereas before, like all the previous models, like you'd see it when it was capped. Um, but I appreciate that it's covered. Um, yeah, and I'm just, I'm really pleased. Uh, reverse is definitely a little scratchy. Uh, and it, there's really no point. Like this, like I said, this is already an extra fine. Now I will say if you're a Japanese um, nib per preferences, uh, then this is still going to be broader than any Japanese extra fine would be. Um, but for a Western nib, this is definitely um, an extra fine, <laughs> like a, a true quote unquote extra fine. Um, actually, this is a Benu pen since I, I wasn't planning on doing this, but since it's right here, this is a Benu fine. Flip and love this pen. I've done many videos on this if you wanted to, uh, if you want to see that. And then this is the extra fine. So like it's slightly finer than this, but not a ton. Um, but this is also like way wetter. Uh, so, I mean, I could definitely ramble on forever and ever and ever and ever, um, like I already have. <laughs> But ultimately what you wanna know is, do I recommend this pen? And the answer is unequivocally yes. Uh, especially in this gorgeous new finish, like holy smokes. Um, my goodness, okay, yes, <clears throat> yes. The answer is yes, yes, <laughs> do it. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm gonna stop rambling because sometimes you guys say I do that too much. So I'm just gonna call it quits here and say, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it but haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional rando on Tuesday. Uh, check out the description below for uh, my Patreon account if you wanna help support me in what I do here. And as always, if you're still watching this far in, you are the reason I make these videos and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to thank all of my VIP and above patrons. This was filmed uh, May 2nd, so if you don't see your name and you've just started supporting me, don't worry. It will appear as soon as I can update it. So we have Mr. Daniel Roddy. We have Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Whaley Chang, Brian Law, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcore, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Subiwan Kenobi, which is just the best name. Um, she's actually presidential tier. Bianca Andrews, DigitalTent.Tech and McCall Bennett Lawrence. Thank you all, regardless of the tier you choose, you will never know how much it actually means to me that you support me, my content, and what I do here. Thank you, thank you, thank you.